Welcome to FTM, and today, in the darkness of your home theater setup, let's talk soundbox. Now, for reasons of copyright and other such issues, I can't play this movie to you, but you all know what it is. What I can tell you about Top Gun Maverick is it has an amazing audio soundtrack. Now, one of the reasons I have played that multiple times here in my office studio setup is because it's a great example of audio and checking what you hear with different soundbars. So the reason I wanted to do this video is because JBL has a new range of soundbars out this year. And there are essentially five in the range as well as a couple of uh, even lower entry models. But I wanna talk about the new JBL bar range. And this is the low end of that, the bar 300. You're looking at around $529 for this one. And it is a five channel soundbar. So 5.0, and I've talked about this before, but I think it's a really good reminder about all those numbers you see. 5.0 means there are five channels and no subwoofer and no Dolby Atmos. So in here, in this one single soundbar, sitting in front of your TV, you're getting a center, a left, a right, and rear left and right. And those rear left and right are sent to the walls, bounced behind you so that you hear them virtually as if they are behind you. And that's a big deal. But here's the thing, across this lineup of JBL soundbars, the bar 300, the bar 500, the bar 800, the bar 1000, and the bar 1300, you keep stepping up those criteria. So for example, in the bar 5.1, what do you think you're getting here? So the bar 500 is a 5.1 system. So it's this with a subwoofer. Subwoofer being that big thing down there, big. 10 inch subwoofer sits on the floor and offers you the bass. In, in Top Gun Maverick, it's like boom, boom. You know, you really want to feel it. You don't just want to hear it. So the bar 500 takes you to the 5.1 sound. So bar 300, five channels. Bar 500, 5.1. So it's the extra 0.1 you're getting there and you're paying 749 for the, for the 5.1 surround um, and a little bit of extra power because you're talking about a 590 watt system. Now, the difference when you step it up to the next level is the physical bar itself with the bar 800, the bar 1000, which is what I've got set up here in the studio, and then the bar 1300. The physical bar isn't just this one fixed object. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the sound bar, and I can remove the ends of the sound bar. So each end of the sound bar comes off the sound bar and can be placed at the back of your room. And this then offers you the rear sound from the rear. So with a five channel bar only, you're getting a virtual surround. You're getting the sound bouncing off. It's what they call multi-beam. It bounces off the walls and comes to you as if it's coming from behind you. But with these detachable rears, the sound is coming from behind you. And these are phenomenal. Now, the great thing is there is a USB-C here and there is a little uh, little mount point. So if you wanted to permanently mount these, you could. But I think for 95 plus percent of people, having a soundbar that has these detachable for those times when you do want to enjoy Top Gun Maverick, for example, that's what you really want. So in its everyday stance, watching the TV news, watching the Today Show, whatever you're watching, it's a bloody great soundbar. But most importantly also, it's an amazing home speaker system. And I think this is where we start to go, hang on a minute, what's happening with sound? You've now got these amazing sound technologies coming from the streaming services, Apple Music, Spotify. They're wonderful. Plus we've got our own music libraries. These soundbars, uh, all of the JBL bar series, they feature Chromecast, um, Alexa, and AirPlay 2, which means from an iPhone or from an Android phone, you can just simply cast your music. And that means you're gonna get those five channels or as we go up. So with the bar um, 800, you get 5.1.2. Now the 0.2 on the end is Dolby Atmos. And so what you're getting there is additional sound 
coming from above you. I'll get to more about Dolby Atmos in a minute. Then the bar 1000, which I have here, is a 7.1.4. So you're getting seven basic channels, which is phenomenal, four Atmos channels, and beautiful. And then the bar 1300, which you're talking about a $2,000 bar, um, is 11.1.4. I reckon this is the sweet spot. The bar 1000, it's $1,500, 7.1.4 sound. And I gotta tell you, <laughs> I've sat a few people here um, in front of this TV. I'll get rid of that screensaver. And we'll just, I mean, you know what I'll do? I'll show you a little bit of uh, um, interesting thing that a lot of people don't realize about sound bars when they're non-TV brand. So you're not getting a Samsung, an LG, or a Hisense sound bar. A JBL sound bar plugged into this TV, you'll see they're just Quickly, you'll see in the background, JBL bar 1000. So the synchronization between the two with the ER connection is phenomenal. So I can now turn the volume down using the TV remote um, and I can just play this forward just a little bit further, a little bit further, um, so that we see some, uh, some action. Just a little bit of light is what I wanna see as opposed to the darkness of John Hamm. So let's just leave it, leave it freeze there. So I have sat people here and said, have a listen to this. From my 11 year old who loves Maverick to people I work with, I've said, just have a listen to this. And everyone has been blown away. And then you play them their favorite music from the best available version, whether it's on Tidal or another uh, streaming service, best available version. And you start to appreciate how music can sound so much better when it's more than just left and right. Now, all of those bar range are Atmos compatible. Now, that does not mean that the bar 300 and bar 500 have upward firing speakers, they do not. But they're able to decode an Atmos signal and then deliver you the best quality sound um, that they can, essentially, with the speakers on board. So 520, 750, uh, then I think you go 999 for the bar 800, which is that uh, five channel uh, with subwoofer and Atmos. And then you go the bar 1000, which I love, which has, and the Bar 800 also has the removable, removable rear. So removable rears on the 800, 1000, and 1300. Uh, and on the 1300, when you remo remove them, you also get outward firing sides, which is how they get to those 11 channels. So for me, it's all about what are you most likely to do and what is your most desirable sound? So for me, most likely, I'm gonna watch a lot of TV and listen to a lot of music. But when I watch a movie, I want it to be perfect. And let me tell you how this works just finally. You put these speakers around your room and you sit in the middle of the room with the JBL app and it, it actually synchronizes the whole system so that the sound is built and projected specifically for the sweet spot in your room. I reckon a soundbar is the best investment you can make for your lounge room rather than buying a new TV because Unless the TV's got lines and dots in it, why buy a new one? Get a bloody great soundbar and improve the sound quality. And that's what gets really exciting. So for me, it's the bar 1000. It's about $1,500, detachable rears, 7.1.4 channel, including a little slice of Dolby Atmos with the sound coming from above you, but most importantly, genuine rear sound. But even for a thousand bucks, the bar 800 with the rear sound, detachable speakers, uh, and the multi-beam, I mean, it's, it's, it's a phenomenal thing. There are so many soundbars out there right now and all the brands have them. Um, we've seen Sonos push heavily into this space. Sennheiser has some really high end stuff and there are some really low end brands as well. And look, I'm not averse to someone spending just a couple of hundred dollars on a soundbar because even uh, JBL's current or new, new second generation bar two, which is just a simple two channel bar, $279, JBL audio quality but even on the oldest, crappiest TV, it will change your viewing experience. So that's why I think soundbar is a quality investment for your home.